Jimon Onso. He is starring in A Quiet Place 2, which releases on March 20th, where people are not talking. <laughs> or else. How did you get this role? Well, <laughs> it's funny the way she put it, uh, where people are not talking. Uh, I uh, I I came to this role because the, well, first of all, the first one was such a great success that uh, you know uh, when I heard that uh, I was called in to uh, play one of the characters, I was like, uh, it was no brainer at all. I mean, I didn't I didn't even read a, the script, you know. So it, it was it was yeah. Well, it couldn't have been a lot of lines. No, it couldn't be. <laughs> I'm just guessing. I'm just taking a stab here. Exactly. I'm thinking that it was no, it wasn't, a, it wasn't dialogue. And more heavy. importantly, uh, John Krasinski and his wife Emily Blunt were coming back, and uh, the rest of the cast was. Well, I thought he got snatched. Did so, he get snatched up? Yeah, but this is a continuation. Uh, you know, the, well, first of all, he came back as uh, you know the the, the director. Ah, uh, okay. And. Uh, Obviously, the audience was also looking for him to exist again. And like so sad that he was uh, sort of killed off, the, you know, <laughs> in the first one. So, um, but this one is the continuation of the the first one, and uh, uh, okay. you get to feel him, you know, going back on you know on the story a little bit. But uh, yeah. wow, you know, I saw Debbie Allen at the Paley Center um, re- out in L.A. recently, and she talked about her journey to Amistad, right? Mm. And part of what she was talking about was your silent presence in so much of that movie. So I'm interested to kind of get your perspective on like the acting from the point of that silent presence in one movie versus now acting having that silent presence in another one in so much of it. I would say one thing, first of all, Debbie Allen, it's been so long that I've seen her... uh, what a grace. Um, I believe there's so much power in silence. And so therefore, I think uh, a lot gets created from silence. A lot of creations, the things that we have uh, created and sort of, you know, uh, built, you know, most of it was conceived in uh, silence, in the pure serenity uh, of a moment, you know, and uh, in, in those moments, we get clarity about our lives and about certain things that we're troubled with, you know. But uh, I believe a lot of creation comes from uh, silence. Mm. 